Reed wants to play, and the Raiders need to play. They're going to fake Ty Law to throw for it, and it was caught and knocked out of bounds. On the football to prevent the first down. That's a heads-up play from Hunter Renfro. And he saw it even before. What's going on YouTube and what's going on Raider Nation? It's your boy Byron Live 95 and today I'm coming at y'all with another video and I wanted to talk about the man Hunter Renfro. The story of how he got to the NFL and after this video this may change how you view Hunter Renfro. But if you guys could do me a quick favor and hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm I would really appreciate it. And now back to the video. Now ever since Hunter Renfro was a young kid he had a dream and that dream was to play the wide receiver position but that's not how his high school career would start out to be because his dad was one of the coaches and they preferred him to play the quarterback position where he would be better suited in the triple option scheme that would help him out in the long term now after it was all said and done and his high school career was now over he was only ranked as a two-star recruit and he would only get offers from small colleges which a lot of those small colleges wanted him to play quarterback he even got some scholarship offers offers to play baseball as well but Hunter Renfro would decide to take a risk on himself and he wanted to go to Clemson and play wide receiver as a walk-on it would be a tough road but Hunter believed in himself and decided that the best thing for him to do was walk on and chase his dreams but things would start off very rough for Hunter Renfro now around 2014 that's the year he graduated Hunter Renfro was 5 foot 10 and weighed around 160 pounds but two weeks before his first ever practice at Clemson he would have to get his tonsils removed and now Hunter Renfro went from weighing 160 pounds to now weighing 148 so now these next two weeks Hunter was gonna have to do everything in his power to put on any type of weight whether it was food workouts because he wanted to impress the coaching staff at Clemson now fast forward to the day of his first ever practice he weighed in at 155 pounds so he was five pounds away from his normal weight but now even at 160 pounds he looked like a frail small thin scrawny kid and when you look at the typical wide receivers you see at college and in the nfl so it was going to be very hard for him to make the team Hunter Renfro would also hit another minor setback because one of the first practices that he was at at Clemson, everybody was chilling on the sidelines. Everybody's got a towel in their hands, some water, things like that. And one of his teammates, and his name was Eric Mack Lane, who was one of the offensive linemen for Clemson at the time, walked up to Hunter Renfro and had his hand stretched out wide open and was waiting for Hunter to put something in his hand. Now, obviously, Hunter's looking confused. He's looking like, uh, I don't know what's going on. And the dude ends up getting mad and ends up yelling at Hunter Renfro and says, dude, give me your damn towel. Now, there was a brief pause and then everybody started laughing. The coaching staff, all the teammates, and they had to explain to Eric that Hunter Renfro was not the water boy, but he was a freshman wide receiver trying to make the team. But Hunter Renfro was a good sport about it. He still offered him his towel even after the confusion and you know everybody got a good laugh at that but when it came to his first practice with the Clemson Tigers it didn't go well at all Hunter admitted that he dropped at least seven of the 12 passes that were thrown to him but despite all the minor setbacks that happened to Hunter Renfro he would continue to grind out continue to work hard and he would end up going from 155 pounds and start getting around that 180 mark and after all his hard work and dedication Hunter Renfro ended up making the team in 2014 as a walk-on and things got better for Hunter because in August of 2015 he would end up earning a scholarship to play football at Clemson my back pocket right here and it's going to Hunter Renfro yeah! 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 In his five years with the Clemson Tigers, Hunter Renfro would catch 186 passes for 2,133 yards and would score 15 touchdowns in his college career. But his biggest play would come in the 2017 National Championship against Alabama. Watson. Touchdown! Hunter 
Renfro. Little man makes another enormous play. Now, after his college career was over, it was time for Hunter Renfro to enter the draft in 2019. And he was projected to go somewhere between the fifth and sixth round and was getting player comparisons to Jeremy Curley. Hunter Renfro would now be drafted by the Oakland Raiders in the fifth round of the 2019 NFL Draft. And the crazy thing about it is that Hunter Renfro said that the Raiders were on top of his list as the number of teams he did not want to get drafted to. I didn't know if I was going to be, you know, fourth rounder or fifth round, sixth round, seventh round or not drafted. I, you really don't know. You don't, you don't really have an idea. Um, you know, some teams like you, but you're not certain what's going to happen. So, you know, I talked to my agent a little bit about if I'm not drafted and I'm a free agent, like where are the places that I want to go? Where are the places that me and Camilla would feel good about, you know, going and signing a free agent contract and hoping to make the team? And so I remember going through a list of, you know, where I wanted to go. And then I made a list of like, like, where do I not want to go? And I remember me and Camilla came to the consensus that the Raiders were the number one team we did not want to go to. Hunter Renfro would quickly impress people at training caps, OTAs, from his ability to get open from defenders. And he did such a great job that he won the starting position in his rookie year to play slot. But things would get off to a rocky start. Really, it was, it was playing. You know, it was, we played in London my rookie year, the fifth game of the year. And then we had the bye week the next year. And, you know, I had, I had won the starting job, but I really wasn't playing well. Um, you know, I, I, I had, I think I had like six or seven targets. We were playing the Chicago Bears in London. I had like six or, six or seven targets in like one catch. All right, this ain't working. I'm gonna have to do it, you know, my way. I, I know Coach Gruden wants me to run it like this. I know, you know, they want me to run it like this, but you know, I'm gonna be out of the league in, in about five games <laughs> if I keep doing it like that. I'm terrible and I'm gonna do it my way to an extent. Obviously, you know, there's a coaching balance. I'm gonna respect what they say. I'm gonna do about how they say it, but um, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put some tweaks here and there. And so yeah. um, that was kind of my moment where I kind of woke up and started playing some, some good football. Now, Hunter Renfro said he would slowly start getting his confidence back and he would finish his rookie year with 49 catches for 605 yards and four touchdowns. Now, Hunter Renfro would get better even in the next season in 2020 and would slowly start making a name for himself as one of the top slot wide receivers in the NFL. He would finish that 2020 season with 56 catches for 656 yards and he would score two touchdowns. But by far, the following year in 2020, 21 would be an insane year and it would all start before the season even began when there was a jointed practice with the Los Angeles Rams. A lot of reports came out that Hunter Renfro was torching Jalen Ramsey and yes as we all know we don't got a lot of video evidence. I wish we did because I want to see what he did. Now fast forward we're going to talk about the first seven games of the 2022 season and Hunter Renfro would have 38 catches for 399 yards and he would score two touchdowns. Why is this important because after week seven the team would have a tragic incident with Henry Ruggs as they would have to release him with Henry Ruggs being gone Hunter Renfro would now have to step up to the plate and when he did he had the best year of his young NFL career second and 12 pressure coming from the Ravens Carr will get it to Renfro down the sideline Hunter Renfro in shotgun Carr, catch and run, Hunter Renfro slips around defenders, third down and nine, Carr fires down the field, hold in Hunter Renfro, Carr unleashes a deep one, a wobbler, sliding grab by Renfro, Raiders third down and four for Carr, fumbling pocket and he goes downfield, that's Renfro, second and goal, Carr, great time and a touchdown, Renfro, he beats Bradbury. Second and goal. Play action. Floats one. Oh, in the end zone. Hunter Renfro. Kind of tipped this one up. He was able to corral it. Derek Carr is getting up to the little car. Looking left. Throwing left. Corner in the end zone. It is caught. And he get down in time. Hunter Renfro. Each side is like, no, it's not. That's not fair. <laughs> what, are you, what game are you watching? First and 20. Wide open. It's Renfro and 
Carr under pressure. Now he throws, and it's caught by Renfro for a first down. He's still going to the end zone. Touchdown! And the crazy part about it is he doesn't look like the typical wide receiver. You can't deny two things about him. The route running, which in my opinion is one of the best and one of the most unique in the NFL. And he said that he got his unique route running skill from being a defensive back in high school. And he said that helped him because he knows what defenders want to do, where defenders would want to go. So he would try to throw them off best as possible. And also, let's not forget about how great his hands are. Last year in the 2021 season, he caught 80 percent of his passes and only dropped two passes and hunter renfro credits his mom for his great catching ability because when he was in high school his mom would practice with him and he said that her passes would be so inaccurate that it forced him to learn how to catch uncatchable balls. i like to credit my mom for uh for teaching me how to play receiver because she was so erratic and just throwing the ball everywhere and she was also having to dive and that's catch adorable it. And that's going to do it for me, Raider Nation. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel, Byron Live 95 I appreciate y'all. Comment down below what you guys think about Hunter Renfro. And I will see you guys in the next video.